Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I want you to go about and play with some things that I wouldn't normally play with. And I'm of course talking about drugstore makeup. Now, I've had a lot of people coming um, into my sort of DMs, and comments, or just, you know, people in my life coming up to me um, and saying that I don't play with enough um, budget-friendly makeup. So, essentially, today's video is to show you guys that I can play with it and stop picking on me. Christopher, stop it! I'm a little bit conscious and a little bit nervous about my skin um, breaking out and reacting to some of the more budget makeup that I've tried in the past. So, for today's video, I'm actually sticking to a full face of one brand's makeup. I haven't tried a whole lot of their product, um, but whatever I have tried has always surpassed expectations. So I thought it was a great brand to begin with in terms of my drugstore makeup journey. So, without much further ado, let's go on and see what look I created. <music> Alright, first up I'm going to start with primer and I am taking the Makeup Revolution Pore Blur, Blur, Pore Blur Primer and this is a pore filling primer. All of the products that I'm trying for Makeup Revolution today are cruelty free and vegan. I'm not certain if their entire collection is cruelty free and vegan, I'll check that online. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool considering a lot of brands hike up their prices because they've gone vegan. I remember NARS actually jumped quite a bit in price when they became vegan and now they're not anymore again. But the prices are the same. Drama! Anyway, let's get started with this. Um, I actually purchased all of this product um, from my local Superdrug and this Pore Blur Primer was £6. Wow. Considering my normal bay, bay, her beauty is 26 pounds. This is a really great deal. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to take a little nugget on the back of my hand. It actually feels just like my Huda primer. It doesn't have the um, amazing soothing scent to it. I know I should avoid scent in my makeup, guys, but... Indulge me for a second. Yeah, and it actually seems to have really smoothened out the skin. So that's a plus. So today I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. That's what it looks like. You get um, 23 ml in a bottle. I'm using the shade F10. Now, ooh. That's interesting. It comes with um, a doe foot applicator, which I don't really love because I think they tend to like sort of scrape bad bacteria from your face, put it into a bottle and then fester with a ton of chemicals and product. It smells like paint. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, wow. I think I just matched my skin for the first time. Um, I'm just going ahead. I'm popping that sort of all over my face, I suppose, because the doe foot applicators got me confused as to how much I really need. Yep, that's, that's very, very full coverage. I kind of dig it. Sorry, I should have mentioned that foundation is nine pounds. Wow. So it's super, super budget friendly. I'm now jumping into the concealer and define concealer in the shade C7, so three shades lighter than the foundation. And I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and erase some of those dark circles. Um, the concealer was four pounds. Wow. Right? Super affordable, went on really, really thick. Is it a Tarte Shape Tape? No. Does it get the job done? Absolutely. I'm now jumping in to the Revolution Mega Bronzer in O2 Warm. And this guy cost four pounds. Wow, that's pretty good. So again, super great value. Let's see how this applies. 
So I'm just gonna roll my Morphe brush into the disc and then, oh shit, that's pigmented. Again, for a four pound bronzer, actually just for a bronzer in general, this blends out really nicely. It's got a really, really nice feel to it. I love the large disc. You can really roll your brush around in there, which I love. I hate dealing with like small pans where you're like, dip, 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 dip. you don't have to do that with this. So that's great. We're going to quickly move on to blush. And today I'm using um, their blush palette in the shade Hot Spice. You get eight shades for four pounds. Wow. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a big powder brush and go into this shade right here, which is number six. God, I love this. Sorry, you guys, we stopped filming and I didn't realize. And now I'm doing my brows with the Revolution Brow Pencil in dark brown. This costs three pounds. I'm just, wow. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. <laughs> Now normally budget eyebrow products have a lot of wax in them and they tend to pull on your hair as you apply them but this actually applies not too differently to the Benefit pencils that I'm obsessed with. It's perhaps just a little more liberal in application but it feels so so good and I love it. Moving on to the most exciting part of today's makeup challenge which is the Makeup Revolution Regeneration Mischief Matte Palette. It is 18 shades, all matte, beautiful, and eight pounds. Wow, flippers and all, wow. Brush into the crease with the shade attached. Just gonna take a tapered brush and go into the shade upper hand. I'm just gonna punch into daydream a little bit now and just warm up that crease. I'm just gonna take a small packing brush and go into the shade new shade new the shade new day and just pat that into the inner corner, just blending it out from the crease to create a really warm, sunsetty look. I'm gonna go back in with that packing brush and go into the shade Ricochet and just pat that onto the sides of the eyes, just onto the outer corner. Taking a separate fluffy brush, I'm also going to go into the shade Underdog and just tap, tap that on top of Ricochet. And then going back into the fluffy brush, I'm going to go into the shade Haunted and just really exaggerate the eye. Okay, cool. That is done. I am going to come back into this palette shortly, but I wanted to talk about these Five glitter packed shadows that I purchased. Um, these go into a Z palette, which I will pick up. I am gonna first up go ahead and just pack a little bit of concealer onto my eye to prime it for the product. Cut crease done. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the glitter on my hands. I'm using these without a glitter glue because I really, really wanna put them through the runs. Um, and do a full day wear test today with this. Um, but I did pop a little bit of um, setting spray on top. So um, that's kind of blown my mind a little bit right now. I'm really, really impressed. I'm sure this would like apply a thousand times better with a touch of um, glitter glue, but um, sometimes I just wanna be that girl that's like, screw the rules. And then I'm just gonna go in to the Matte Shadows palette again with my packing brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the inner corners. 
now that we're all done with the eyeshadow, I'm just quickly going to finish off this look by taking a little bit of a mix of Ricochet and Haunted under the eyes. And now I'm going to go ahead with a really exciting product, which is the highlighter. Now this is the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded in the shade Just My Type. And this guy cost me three pounds. Oh wow. So again, we're dealing with product that's actually pretty high quality, if I'm being honest. Got a bit of a grey cast to it, but other than that, it's actually pretty intense. I think I might have fared better with a slightly darker colour. But it didn't look so light in the pan, if I'm honest. It, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's actually quite a um, champagne-y tone. Okay, I need to sort of just darken this up a touch because it's not the right shade for me. So I'm just going to go in with a touch of number five from the blush palette, which is a peachy toned colour. Head fix that. There we go. Now, I'm going to go in with eyeliner, and I picked up this eyeliner. This is the Supreme Dip Liner, and it cost three pounds. Wow. Great. And now I'm just going to go in to um, a mascara. I couldn't find any Revolution mascaras at the um, super drug that I went to. I'm not even sure they do mascara, but um, I'm just going in with better than sex because um, I wanted to film this before I go on holiday and I didn't have time to check out any other super drugs. The eyeliner has actually surpassed my expectations in terms of quality. It is really, really good. It's taking a bit longer to dry than I'd like but I think that's just because I'm spoiled with the Fenty liner that I use. Finally I'm going to go into a product I know, love and I'm obsessed with and it's the Revolution Power Matte Lip Pigments. I'm trying out a new colour today called Elevation. These cost £4 and in my opinion are some of the best lip, uh, long lasting lip products on the market. There we go. And that is that. I'm going to go ahead and set this look with setting spray. I picked up the Glow Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray from Revolution. And this guy costs five pounds. Wow. It smells like water. I think I just spent five pounds on a water spray. Doesn't bubble on the skin, which is nice. I don't hate it. Alright guys, so that is my Makeup Revolution look. I am now going to do something really fun and film the rest of this video vlog style, taking you on my journey through my day, what I'm eating, and how well this makeup stays on and whether I need to do any touch-ups. So, come and join me on my adventure, I guess. Hi guys, so it's been something like three hours since I applied the makeup, three and a half hours. Um, I've just watched Spider-Man, there were tears, there was reactions, there was a lot of um, rubbing my eyes, but the makeup's going super strong. I did have a bun less Five Guys burger, um, and so I had to reapply the lipstick, but everything else looks good. I'll check in in a couple of hours. So just continuing this series, as you can see, the glitter has kind of dust, dust, dusted off. Um, considering I didn't use any glitter glue um, or even like much adhesive to sort of hold it in place it still sort of held onto the eyes really really well um, the foundation still sitting really nicely um, however the concealer is kind of worn off but again I didn't use any setting powder so I'll be excited to see what setting powder can do to this the brows are intact the lips are after two meals gone but considering today was a really hot day I was on the bus sweating it out for a while I was editing videos at my desk for a while as well I touched my face as much as I did it's it's going really well so far um 
I probably will have time for one more check-in. I'm about to watch some TV, finish editing. Um, so I'll keep you posted. But all in all, really impressed. Hi guys, so this is the final check-in of the day. I have been wearing this makeup now for 10 hours and um, just because I'm super committed I actually went ahead and danced for 30 minutes um, and I was actually a really good idea with my makeup on um, but it let me see how the makeup wears through like sweat and um, I don't know if you can tell but I mean the foundation still providing a very light coverage it's probably down to what like a BB cream would do um, my skin has glowed all day long the blush literally wore until hour eight when I decided to dance. Um, the lip product, I mean, there's still marks of it left, but the eyes are looking phenomenal. So I'm just gonna give a quick rundown on the products that I liked and the products that I didn't like. So I loved the primer, the foundation, the setting spray, the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, the matte eyeshadows, the glitter eyeshadows, the glitter liner, yeah, sure, okay. The brows, yes. So the only thing that was a no for me was the concealer, um, and only because it didn't give the kind of coverage that I like, but, you know, it might work for a lot of people who don't have the same kind of under eye issues that I do. But that's it for me. I'm literally in my pajamas. I'm about to go wash my face, take a shower, get into bed and get to work in the morning. Thank you so much for following me along on this journey and I'll catch you at the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like. Please subscribe to me to see what I am up to. And if you really, really wanna show your support, go ahead and ring that notification bell. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I can't wait to show you everything else that's coming your way. I have a ton of collaborations coming in the next few months and I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm loving this. So thank you so much for indulging my desire to be seen on here. Thank you and bye-bye.